Welcome back to Pound Mr. Channel. In this video, we will give you an introduction to our brand new PowerShell Smart LBM 12K Hybrid Inverter and walk you through the wiring process. This compact yet powerful 12 kW solar inverter not only delivers a high single unit output of 12 kW, but also offers outstanding flexibility and scalability. It supports both 240 volt split phase and 230 volt single phase output, with six different phase voltage options to match requirements in various regions worldwide. With simple power configuration, you can connect up to six units together, building a system of up to 72 kW in three phase or split phase setup, providing reliable power for projects of any size. On the input side, it's just as impressive. The inverter supports two independent PV arrays, each up to 6,600 watt, with open circuit voltage as high as 550 volt. It also works seamlessly with 48 volt lithium or C batteries, supporting up to 200 ampere of charging current. With multiple building BMS protocols, Battery integration is both smart and convenient. For safety, the LVM12K features advanced AFCI arc fold protection. Using precise differential protection, it identifies and cuts off arc within milliseconds, reducing the risk of fire at a source. It comes with IP65 rated protection, making it tough enough for outdoor installation in all weather conditions. Building breakers make wiring faster, and external CD support allows you to feed excess solar back into the grid with accurate monitoring. The inverter also includes a dedicated GEM port for generators or other backup energy sources. And with its user-friendly touch screen, you can monitor performance and configure functions easily, all right at your fingertips. We will dive deeper into the user interface and the settings in upcoming videos. For now, let's go through the wiring process. Once the unit is mounted, remove the solid rings and open the wiring cover. Start with the battery. Since the maximum discharge current can reach 270 ampere, you will need two zero-gauge cables. Always connect the battery positive to the inverter's positive terminal and negative to the negative terminal. Tighten the solid ring after wiring. Next, connect the PV arrays. Each input supports up to 25 ampere and each MPVT has two power positive and two power negative terminals. You can use a single 9 gauge cable or two 12 gauge cables in parallel. Be sure to route the positive cable through the AFCI port so the inverter can enable arc fold protection. Tighten the solid rings once done. Then connect the AC input, AC output, and generator. Use 6 gauge cables. Connect the two live wires, L1 and L2, to their corresponding breaker terminals. Neutral to the neutral port and ground to the grounding terminal. After wiring, make sure to tighten the solar rings for each connection. Close the battery breaker, then use the power switch on the bottom right of the inverter to power it on. For BMS communication, use a CAT5B cable to connect the inverter's RS-485 or CAM port to the matching port on your battery. For example, with the PAL LIO51 460S battery, make sure the DIP switch is set to 1. In the inverter setting menu, simply go to Battery Setup and select the right BMS communication interface, battery type, and protocol. For power masters on batteries, please choose PYL. If you are using a Wi-Fi module, just plug it into the Wi-Fi port and mount it in a suitable spot. 
For details on the app setup, please check our earlier video about the Wi-Fi HFM module. Next, connect the city. Each inverter comes with a DCT set, which monitors both import and export current to achieve precise zero export control. Cities are usually installed in the main grid distribution box. Always turn off the main breaker before installation for safety. Place the CT market L1 on the grid light L1 and the one market L2 to the outer light with the arrow point towards the inverter. Finally, connect the CT plug into the CT port. As the last step, switch on the breakers in order, grid, load, and GEN. Then turn on the PV input switch. Once the breakers and switch are on, secure the inner cover with screws at the four corners. Close the outer cover and the inverter is ready for configuration. That's all for the wiring of the Pelson Smart LBM 12K Hybrid Inverter. Stay tuned for our next video, where we will walk you through the user interface and operation settings. Thanks for watching and see you next time.